this for today. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read quickly from Genesis 39. Genesis 39. I'm going to read. Genesis 39. Because of time, I don't do some verses. And I'll read from verse 19. Because this, the story of Joseph is a familiar story. But today I do not intend to preach. Because I want to give time to our guests to share with us. Because in 20 minutes is work with the Lord and also to encourage us. Genesis 39. Reading from verse 19. The Bible says, And it came to pass when his master had the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant, did thy servant to me. And his rod was kindled, and Joseph, Joseph's master took him and put him into prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. Say with me that we are bound. Yeah, All right. And he was there in prison. Verse 21. It, it starts with but. Say with me, but. but. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. The Lord made whatever he did to do what? Say with me, the Lord, the Lord made, made whatever he did, whatever he did to, prosper. to prosper. Now put your hand here and say, the Lord, the Lord shall, make shall make whatever I do, whatever I do to, prosper. to prosper. Do you agree with yourself? Yes. Yes. Say amen. 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 All right, today has been declared as a day of favor. But you have to understand what favor is. Favor is undeserved mercy. Favor is grace. Where you should be disgraced. Favor is fame. Where and when you should be in shame. Rich. <coughs> Favor is gain. When you should be in pain. Or even when you are in pain. Favor is profit out of losses. Are you with me so far? Favor is heavenly ingredients. Is the tomato and the magician, the know, the condiments from heaven that flavors the life of a man and a woman. That the circumstances of their life, even though they are unfavorable, but they are seasoned in the season of their life. Are you with me so far? So watch this now. Joseph, my namesake, whom I was named after, have been in prison, but you gotta understand that before he was put in prison, he had experienced a different kind of prison called the pits. Some people in life would go from pit to pulpit or pit to prominence, but he went from pit to Potiphar's house. From Potiphar's house, he ended up in prison. You see, sometimes in our lives, there are circumstances that begin to happen in our lives and we can begin to see the life of Joseph be reflected in our own lives. Even though we don't bear that name 
Joseph. But I'm here to submit to you today that because you are in this program, team favor, that something will begin to change. There will be a paradigm shift in your life. Amen. And you shall begin to experience favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Favor is a man a woman that goes to an interview. And when he or she arrives there, instead of interview, they begin to have a discussion. Preach. Favor is grace to overtake. Yes, sir. Favor is not fair. That's one thing about favor. It does not look at age. It's not fair. It's preferential treatment. From today, may God prefer you. Amen. Offer your contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Watch this now. Joseph. The Bible made me to understand that he was in prison. And that is not just being in prison. You know you can be in prison and have a bed. Enter the TV. According to the prison regulations of the United Kingdom. <laughs> when I was a cab driver, I carried a man to court. And he was nagging. I said, what is your problem? <laughs> He said that he does not understand why they have to bring him out of the prison in the first place. Holy <laughs> God is my witness. They should hurry up so that he can return back before somebody takes his room and his bed. <laughs> I could not laugh because I was in shock. Have you ever had something that you said, pardon? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> like, am I dreaming? <laughs> he told me that, as a matter of fact, we are the ones in prison. I said, Excuse me. How do you mean? He said, You are a prisoner. I said, How am I a prisoner? He said, Because, number one, we are we come prison. There is a roof over his head. We are we come prison. He has a bed. We are we come prison. People cook and give to him. We have been called prison. He has internet. He has TV. We have been called prison. He can even go to school. Free. We have been called prison. He can walk. Hallelujah. He can save money. We have been called prison. He has his own friends that have his back. If anybody is playing anything in prison, they will know. But may he submit to me that I'm in prison. He said, now, nah, I'm carrying him. I'm walking. He said, he doesn't have to. <laughs> he said, I'm in prison. God, and when God. I went home, I cried. Uh, I said, could it be that indeed I'm in prison? <laughs> and I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, Holy Ghost is my witness. I can never forget that man's face. I thought the government was doing him a favor by bringing him and taking him to court to see if there are. Things they can look into to release him. And he's telling them that if they insist not to put him back, he will look for something and commit. And go back. <laughs> so that he can go back fast, quick, quick. Oh, I now understood that prison is not just an edifice, that there are people moving about in what we call freedom, but they are actually in prison. Prison could also be a state of mind. Because I came to understand that Peter was in prison, but the guy was chilling, man. He was chillaxing. He was in prison, but he was sleeping. <clears throat> the angel came to wake him up. My friend, let's get out of here. Get, get out of this place. There are prison circumstances. That's why the people that do this so or whatever. They read the Bible, I believe. And they said, we need to come up with an idea that we said. They call it prison break. It's either you need a break from prison or you break out of prison. There are circumstances in our lives that can put you in prison. Not physical prison. But you are restricted. The Bible said that is where his prisoners were bound. Listen to this. They were in prison, but they were bound 
they are still in prison. They were in prison on top of that. They don't have freedom. If it, you know you can be in prison and have freedom in prison. That's true. But they were in prison and had no freedom inside the prison. So watch this. The Bible made me to understand that the prison circumstance is unfavorable. Are you with me so far? Yes. But watch this. In an unfavorable situation, the Bible said, and the hand of God came upon Joseph and commanded, pushed, made it possible for the one in charge of the prison to relinquish himself of his duties and said, Joseph, if you know you are in prison, take the key of the prison, control the prisoners. And I came to understand that even the chief prisoner, the manager of the prison, I came to understand that technically he too was in prison. I came to understand that it was Joseph that gave him his freedom. Ay, 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 ay. From today, may favor locate you. Yeah, yeah. Man. That you shall go to some place and you begin to command things. Amen. You will just, there will be a force of attraction, God favor towards you. That men and women, even those that hate you, even those that have been commanded to give you power, they will look at you and say, there's something spectacular about you. Take the key, take the money, take the house, take the car. Just take, 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 so that I can have my freedom. Amen. From today, I command, may God be God may not necessarily come down from heaven to favor you. That's true. He may command a man or a woman yes, to favor you. Amen. Watch this. The Bible said that even Jesus needed favor to survive here on earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible did not want Jesus' labor to be in vain. So he said the boy Jesus increased in stature, knowledge, wisdom. And he obtained favor from God. From man and from woman, there are some times you need to obtain favor. That means you need to ask for it. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. From today, <laughs> my wife said, I banter. What is banter? I can go to the supermarket and tell them, you see this price? You need to change it. My wife will say, What is written? I said, Don't worry. Call your manager. I said, Manager, I have been a loyal customer to this place. You see this thing I'm looking at? Three days to expire. <laughs> you need to reduce the money. Give me money, just discount. My wife will be uncomfortable. I said, no, but before you, they will give it to me. Amen? Amen. Amen. I can look at the price all I can call the people. I said, this price, I got it cheaper somewhere. Where? I can't tell you. <laughs> it's either you're selling it to me, I can't buy it there. It's okay, if you don't want to sell it, it's fine. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Sometimes you need to obtain what? Amen. Because I see that people here have been programmed. People can just come and write any price. And say, it's supermarket price, it can't be changed. Who told you? Circumstances in life can be changed. Yes, sir. Including prison circumstances. I'm a witness. Amen, somebody. Amen. So today, become wise. Amen. I want to stop here. I said I don't want to preach, but my wife said the thing is just in you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. I like your faith. I like your faith. I like your faith. My brother, this is your word. I like it though. It didn't look like a roller. <laughs> Yeah. In second rate, <laughs> don't worry. All of them keep time, so that is the most important thing. <laughs> Amen. Father, bless this young man. There's something you're looking for. Let's not say it's important. You're going to get it. Amen. All right? You will do what? Get it. What did I say? You will do what? Get it. Yes. I like the way you're doing your things. So just do them clean, clean, the way you're doing them. All right? It might take longer, but you'll get the best result. Amen. As long